Hi, I'm Sarah from SidetrackSarah.com and today we are going to make 20 chicken slow cooker dump and go meals for the freezer. So I am super excited to stock my freezer with these meals. We are actually going to do five different recipes but we're going to quadruple them so I'm not planning to use all of these recipes in the same month. I'm planning to just stock my freezer full of chicken recipes so that I have different things to pull from on those busy days or say I have a potluck I want to go to or if I need to bring a meal to a friend or anything like that. I just want to stock my freezer full of easy delicious meals. I am just about ready to go shopping for this. I'm going to make 20 chicken crock pot meals and I'm hoping to do it in about an hour. Not the shopping part but putting them all together and so I've got my my list that I printed off of everything I need and I am going to stock up. It should be pretty cheap. I'm looking forward to see seeing just how cheap it is. But anyway, I'm heading into Walmart right now because that's my closest store and I only have a couple hours to get this done. Here's my shopping list. As you can see, my printer is messing up, but luckily I can see pretty much everything that I need. I'm gonna quadruple this because I wanna make, this is for five recipes and I want to make 20. So I'm gonna quadruple it so that I can totally stock my freezer for whenever I need a quick meal. And I'm quadrupling it because it will be a lot, lot easier to get that many done in a really short amount of time. Alright, I feel like I did that in hyperspeed. I got done with all of the shopping for the 20 meals and I spent $190, so that wasn't too bad. For 20 meals, I figured that was actually pretty good, especially since I'm feeding eight people. Um, really, they're meant for feeding about six, six adults. So um, anyway, I'm excited to see that I can stock my freezer that that quickly and cheaply for that amount. I feel like it, I'm already a sweaty mess though because it is so humid out here. It said it was supposed to be a high of 75 and it got up to 78 so far, which is like so super cool. But the humidity level must be about 90% because I am dripping just by barely moving. So anyway, let's, now I'm gonna run home and take my kids to youth group and then I will get started and hope that it only takes me about an hour. We'll see. Okay, I got my list now, and we are going to be making white chicken chili, chicken stroganoff, teriyaki chicken, chicken and noodle soup, and chicken tacos. All these are really simple. They actually don't require any chopping of vegetables today, so we can do this like really fast. All right, let's get started. Okay, so now we are doing our first recipe. We're going to do white chicken chili and we're going to do it times four. And today I've got my son Colton. He's eight years old and he's going to help me um, put these together because we just spent like the last 10 minutes opening all of these cans. Let's see if there's 28 cans. So it took us a little bit of time. So I'm going to start by putting three pieces of chicken in each bag. I'm not going to have you do this part because it requires washing hands right after and your hands are getting clean and you can help with the next part. So once I get the three pieces in each bag, can you move that one a little bit closer, like in front while we have a little more room? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's fine. All right, so that's, well, make sure it doesn't fall over. All right, so each of these is going to take four cans of white beans. I'm gonna let Colton, you start on that one on the end. I'm gonna do four in each bag. And I'll start on this one on this end. And we will see how fast we can get this done.
Oh, um, each bag gets four. So that's okay. Put the other two in this one, and I'll give you one more for this one. No, that one was almost really be beanie. Okay, after that, we're gonna eat, each of these is gonna get one can of pinto beans, and we pre drain these, but the pinto beans are a little bit more liquidy. So I'll start with that. All right, now they each get one thing of either Mexican diced tomatoes or diced tomatoes and green chilies. And they each get one can of diced green chilies. Now each of them gets a half packet of taco seasoning. Make sure it gets down to the bottom before you get the pop up. Oh, please. Yeah, so you don't make a mess if you open it. You think you can guess about how much is half, or do you want me to do it for you? Can you do it? Yeah, I'll do it. So I'm just going to sprinkle about what half is. A little hard to tell in a packet like this. I probably could have measured it and figured it out, but I think I got it. It's not going to matter too much if you're off. need a half cup of salsa. So do that one. This one? Yeah. Okay. Another half cup. For the next one, yep. And then the next one. And then the last one gets that. Get the last little bit out of there. And now we just do some spices. So we've got oregano, cumin, and chili powder. And they take two teaspoons of chili powder, one of cumin and oregano. I'm going to start with the one of cumin. Why don't you get these two ready? Whoops, put my arm right in that. With this clip? Yeah, my arm. I gotta wash it off. Okay, so I got the cumin done. Now I'm gonna do the oregano. There's one teaspoon of that. Just need to pop this back on. Is that for the oregano? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead and pop that back on. And then I've got two. I might run out of this chili powder, but I think I have more. I'll have to find. because I didn't quite get it full. Now the original recipe on this calls to add sour cream and milk, but I quit doing that uh, until after it's cooked so it doesn't curdle. So now we just have our complete freezer meal. I recommend squishing it around after you've sealed it so that it'll yeah, all mix it. up. All the spices. Yeah, yeah you can. And we just clear the counter really fast. Do you know how to seal it? Yeah. Okay. Make sure it gets good and sealed because we don't want it to leak. In the freezer. That's right. And you need to get as much air of it out as you can. 
so that Usually in the freezer, I will just lay it as flat as I can like that. And that still has a little bit of air in it, but it's not too bad. And they'll stack on top of each other so that way they don't get stuck. Like if you if it wrapped around like another bag or something else. And if you don't get it good and mixed up, you can stir it once you put it in your slow cooker. It looks like it probably is, but I'll double check it. Okay, there's four. Oh, yeah, it is. You did good. And then, baby, on if I want to mix these up or not. They're a little harder to mix when they're as full, so I'm not too worried. I think I'll wait and stir on cooking day. So you can see where I put what it is white chicken chili in low seven to eight hours. Okay, now we're making chicken stroganoff. So for that, this first part, we're going to melt together. A, yeah, you can go ahead and open that. Um, for each recipe, they need one and a half packages of cream cheese, and then uh, an eighth cup of butter, and then we're gonna melt that together in the microwave, stir it up, and then we're gonna add some uh, this zesty Italian um, dressing mix, and so we'll add all of those. All right, we're gonna put all this in. Normally I wouldn't do this much at once, but since we are quadrupling this recipe, we're just gonna try to do it all at once and then divide it evenly between everything else. All right, I'm gonna put this in for probably a couple minutes and see what happens. All right, so now in this one we need six skinless, boneless skinless chicken breasts in each one. You need this yet. We're gonna need that once that gets out of the microwave. Okay. I'll probably need the next bag in just a minute for you to get for me. This bag? Yeah got an ice chest with all my chicken in the kitchen because I didn't have enough room in my inside freezer. So, staying pretty frozen, which is nice. Six. That's probably as much as two. See how big that is? So I'll cut it as two. Well, and then we're having Dominoes. How do you do it? Okay, you have to put it. Well, no, you can pull it. Put it. Here. Put it. Why don't you go ahead and get that out of the microwave? This is a smaller bag of uh, three pound bag. Usually, a three pound bag will have about seven chicken breasts oh, in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It might be hard to stir still. You might have to like, reach down into the bottom and try to stir from the bottom. Well, and then we'll stick it back in. Like this? Mm -hmm. See how it's much thinner, thinner at the bottom than it is at the it's top? Like, it's like pudding at the bottom. Like pudding. Yeah. Do you need to put back in? Yeah, we're going to need to put it back in, but I'm going to see if we can dig any of this out. The bottom. That's doing pretty good, but it's definitely going to need to go in for another couple minutes. Okay, so we ended up doing this for about six minutes. We did it two minutes at a time, stirred, two minutes, stirred, and did that until it's quite a bit better. And now we are ready to add our packets of Zesty Italian. It'd probably be a little easier if I pulled out my. Um, yeah, go ahead. My mixer, but I'm just going to quickly hand mix today. Yeah. Mm. All right, so we're gonna mix that really well and then we'll divide it over the four bags for it to cook in mm. on cooking day. That looks like it's gonna be good, doesn't mm. it? Mm. 
I don't know about you, but I like cooking with cream cheese. It's so good. I think that's pretty good. It looks like it's pretty evenly mixed now. Okay, this is an eight cup measure. So we know that each will at least get a cup. I'm just gonna start doing a spoonful in each one. That's okay. I, I don't think I'm gonna do that because I don't want to dig it back out of there and waste oh, yeah. any. So just do a spoonful in each one at a time. You want to fill it up? Hmm? You want to fill it up? And do it each time. And... Yeah, do that one. Yeah, how about I let you do this next one? This one? Yeah. Do a really big heaping spoonful, okay? Like that? Yeah. And you can do the next one. Go ahead and move on. You don't have to get it all off. Or you'll fling it all over the kitchen. No. This one. This one? Yeah. That's good. Now, which one? Over here. Can you reach? There you go. That's fine. Don't try to clean it off your skin. Um, bigger, bigger deep. There you go. Okay, good job. But that one didn't quite get as much as some of the others. So. Alright. I'm gonna go like that. What is this? That's for the next recipe. So it's Soy sauce for teriyaki chicken. Getting to the bottom now. Is that it? Is it good? Mm-hmm. And I'll start working on this one look like a lot. Wait, let me make sure we didn't forget anything else. I think I was supposed to mix it with two cans of creamy chicken soup. I was wondering why there was such a little amount, but we're going to just add it here. So I messed up, but that's okay. I, I was supposed to mix the actual stuff that we just put in there with cream and chicken soup and I totally forgot, but that's okay because it won't hurt us to do it now. All right, so now we've got the chick cre cream of chicken soup that we're gonna add two cans to each of these bags. And you can go ahead and add yours to your bags too. Two cans in each bag. Finish one bag before moving to the next. And you can use your spoon to get the rest of it out of the bottom if you need to. So now we've got four more meals. This will, on cooking day, we'll add, you need to either add um, egg noodles, like pasta egg noodles. Yeah. Or frozen. I ended up getting frozen because I like it better. Um, but if you would rather use, it's cheaper to use the non-frozen kind, the pasta noodles that's in the spaghetti aisle, so you can always do that as well. Yep, there you go, there's those four. Now we're gonna move on to the chicken teriyaki. All right, so now for the chicken teriyaki, we are going to put start by putting um, six or seven pieces, I said two to three pounds, so six or seven pieces of chicken in each bag, because usually when you buy a three pound bag of um, frozen chicken four. breasts. Wait, five. Okay, five. You get seven. So I'm going to go ahead and do seven because we have nine people eating and a couple of them are little. We can count this as two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Six, seven. And that came down, came off. Will you fix that for me? Um, If we have too much trouble, we can just hold on to it. Okay. 
So we are going to start by adding um, two teaspoons of minced garlic. Yeah, and you can start adding each of the pine. He's got pineapple juice. One cup in each one. Yep, it's a third cup of pineapple juice. And I'm doing the two teaspoons of garlic, minced garlic. You have to trade me places. Yeah. Alright, good job, Colton. Now we need to do. Um, let's see. We're going to do a fourth cup of vegetable oil and a half cup of soy sauce. So. Where's the soy sauce? I got it over here. Go ahead with the vegetable oil in each one. Now we're going to do a half cup of soy sauce in each one. Go ahead and start pouring those in too, okay? <laughs> Surprise ya? Yeah. Uh, we're going to run out. Oh. Nope, hang on, i got to see if I can find some more. Alright, so this one can go here, and now we need, we just need brown sugar and ginger. So it says an eighth of a cup, which is also the same as two tablespoons. I would pack it if you can. One, two. Can I open it? Yes, please. Okay, so this only requires a fourth of a teaspoon of ginger. One, two, three, four. And then we can just seal it again. Thank you. And we're ready. I would recommend swishing that around so that marinated, marinated sauce will get all over your chicken. And then you can just cook it in it. And Colton, can you tell them how long they're supposed to cook it for in the slow cooker? Low, seven to eight hours, and high, three to four hours. Good job. Yep. So there is, we're up to 12 meals done now. It's pretty simply. And we just got eight more to go. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Alright, so now we're doing chicken and noodle soup and we're going to start by putting four chicken breasts in the bottom and then after that we'll add some carrots and broth. So after you've cooked this in the slow cooker, you will remove, probably on a lot of these dishes actually, you'll remove the chicken and shred it up and serve it like that. Except for like probably the teriyaki chicken is probably supposed to be whole. But anything like a soup or anything else, you would just remove it and shred it and then add it back in. Okay, there's four for each. Can you do a half a bag of those in each How one? How do you do a half? Just like, like with, yeah, just measure with your hands a little bit. So this much? Yeah, maybe, yeah, try that and see if it looks like about half. In one? In each bag, yeah. You'll be able to tell when it looks like it's about half. Is it right here? I go. I don't know. Okay. Here, go ahead and let go. No, not right now. Mm -hmm. You can save it if you want when we're off video. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Oh, no. Go ahead and pour the rest in. In fact, we're going to have to take some of those. And this one? Yep. There you go. You put my carrot. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you might want to save yourself one then before you add it to the chicken. Okay. Just dump all of them, but the one you're saving yourself. Okay, now while he's finishing putting that in, I'm going to add chicken broth. This is about... 30 ounces or two cans of chicken broth to each one. You can start pouring your chicken broth in your two as well. Wait, yep. how much? The whole thing. Oh, in this one? Yep. Okay. And then you do the container oh. in the and other one. one. Yep. That's now we're going to. I know it's a little harder for that one. You have to squeeze it sometimes if you want it to come out fast. But or you can just be patient. Either one. <laughs> All right. Now I'm gonna put a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning in. And then a half teaspoon of garlic powder and a teaspoon of onion powder. Half teaspoon first. If you can find the um, another teaspoon in that drawer, you can start with. Is that teaspoon? Let me see. Yeah, that is. No, how much? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start. This, this is all we're doing for this freezer bag on cooking day. You will add either cooked. Um, right here. Yeah cooked egg noodles or you can add them in while they cook. And how long do you think you cook this one for, Colton? Um, five minutes. Hmm? I didn't see. I was just wondering if you had a guess. Low, low six hours. Yep, low for six hours. This is actually a really good soup. It's so simple and really good. I'm always impressed by how simple the ingredients are and yet how tasty it is. Of course, it's really even better on a cold day or Was this like the soup that you're making? This is a soup, yeah. Well, you crush up the carrots, right? If you're going to add them while they're cooking the egg noodles, you would add some hot water to make sure they're, sure they're covered as well. And you know, you don't have to crush up the carrots. And if you didn't want to do have this big of carrots and you could have cut them up. I'm just trying to save time. So I did them all like that. So there is four more meals. Now we're up to 16 and we have one more recipe to go. All right, now we're doing chicken tacos and it requires seven chicken breasts in each bag because it's a three pound bag of chicken, basically. Okay, the second bag gets seven. Well, that's probably like two, so I'll do that. That's three, four. And they'll go in next after I get all the chicken in. In fact, as soon as I get the chicken in, Colton's gonna add the tomatoes and the taco seasoning. You get two bags, two cans of tomatoes and one pack of taco seasoning per bag. Two. And it's seven per bag, so I'm almost done. And it looks like I bought a little bit too much chicken again. So on these chicken tacos, these are actually really easy to throw together, even if you don't want to freeze them. Although just having them in the freezer and throwing them in the crock pot is really nice too. Baggy stands are not wanting to work for me today. I'll leave that. So we just cook them all together and then we shred it up and put it on like crunchy tacos, soft tacos, or chips. Add the 
drop this news me into the bag. One, two, three. I want to do it in this one first. Sit it. This one? Yeah, because it's trying to fall over. Here you go. And how long do you think you cook this one for, Colton? Um, well, six to eight hours. Mm -hmm. um, four on high, four, what do you think? Um, three on high, high to four. Three to four hours on high, yep. Good job. We did it! Give me five. Good helper. It only took us about an hour and a half to do all 20 of these recipes and um, part of that was because we had to stop and start the, the video. Probably the most time consuming part was opening all the cans and because we had so many different cans to put in but I was pretty happy with getting 20 recipes done for $190 and um, just in an hour and a half. That's pretty great. We got 20 done, yay! If you're new to this channel, we do lots of easy food for busy people, so I would love it if you would hit subscribe, and we will um, always be adding new slow cooker and instant pot meals and freezer meals as well.